As the developer and builder wrecker, we are so excited to be able to feature our design team as we're, these projects are coming to fruition here in the next couple weeks. Emily and her team at Urban Revival, hands down, are some of the best designers that we've worked with here in the Valley. And we're so excited to be able to hear about their perspective of what went into this specific designed home and why it's important as it goes to the marketplace. Enjoy. with Urban Revival and I was the lead designer on 5151 Earl and I was really excited about this project because Nate really wanted to feature a little bit of a different design style than the other properties we've done together and this one is Scandinavian Ranch so come on in and check out some of my favorite details. showstopper is this giant hood we opted for something pretty simplistic so in the Scandinavian design we really focus on truth and materiality simple clean lines and also function a really key point is incredible craftsmanship so we don't want anything too fussy we really want everything to be built beautifully well and then also add interest in unique ways so you'll see here, we did a very large drywall hood, but from the side, it has a few different angles and it creates these shadows. It's really beautiful. And it also mimics our fireplace in the great room, which is amazing and ties the two together. Another one of the features of Scandinavian design is adding in rustic elements. So we were able to work with really tall ceilings in here and the way we balanced the height and made it feel more warm and cozy was by adding these rustic beams. And just the light that comes in creates really beautiful cast shadows on the walls and it feels like such a cozy getaway. So one of our large intents for this project was balancing really warm tones with very light, bright walls. And we brought in a lot of natural light and then offset it with beautiful wood cabinetry, the wood beams. And then another intent was that everything needed to have a function. So you'll notice we have this gorgeous slab backsplash, but we also created this little ledge to add more working space on each side of the range. And then we have this really amazing 45 inch workstation sink, which is great for entertaining. It comes with these wood inserts for cutting your vegetables and serving food. And then we also have this giant buffet for entertaining across from the island. This laundry room is one of my favorite spaces in the house. It has tons of clothes storage. Not only do we have clothes storage on the bottom, we have it above the washer and dryer with this really, really neat wood casing that just makes your washer and dryer look beautiful. We have open shelving around almost the entire room with these incredible drying racks for your clothes. So in Scandinavian design, we really focus on function and beauty being one in the same. Right, we're now standing in the master bathroom here at 5151, and we carry a lot of the same elements throughout. So we have this beautiful stone countertop sitting on top of gorgeous oak cabinetry. We carried the same slab backsplash detail with the shelf so that you can keep your counters clean, but also feature some of maybe your favorite perfumes and colognes. And then we brought in a lot of texture into this bathroom. You'll see it in the floor of the shower. It's this gorgeous pebble floor. It reminds me a lot of European design. And then we have a lot of beautiful mesh tile work on the walls. It's not only in the shower, but we carried it around behind the bathtub. And then I think just it offset with the drywall around the window created a lot of interest. Again, this house has so many incredible details going for it. The real draw is all of the textures layered on top of each other. We've got the concrete paneling, 
We have all of the wood details inside and outside of the house. We have beautiful stone slabs throughout. And then we kept things simple, but really delighted the eye everywhere we could. Thank you so much for following me along on this tour. And if you have any questions, please reach out.